So, well done, Joseph. Fantastic swim. And you got your second gold of the meet in the 400 free. Are you pleased with that one? Oh, yes, definitely. I'm very pleased with the outcome of that race. Basically, because I've made the qualifying times and the heats for the World Championships. So the pressure was off, so I thought I'll just go in, enjoy the final, see what time I can do, but I wanted it to be faster than a 4.45, because obviously I need to bet on myself every time. So for this point in the season, a 4.43, I mean that's probably your second fastest ever, is it? Just behind the world record? Yeah, yeah, just behind the world record, but obviously I see I want to get faster and faster each one, so the next one in Canada, hopefully that'll be a world record. You had John Fox in the lane next to you. Did that help at all, having one of your S7 rivals kind of pushing you on and chasing you? Oh, yes, definitely. I mean, John Fox is a great person, a great bloke, really good friend of mine. He's great to train with. Uh, I love the two weeks and go over the Easter holidays in Manchester with him. That really gave us the final push I needed to do the time I did today. And having him in that race, seeing what he was doing, sort of gave me the opportunity to look at what I was doing myself and see how I could improve that. Now you've got the world's time, you can, you can afford to look ahead to your first world championships. Is it important for you to lower your time from London 2012, or are you just focused on winning that goal? Yes, it's very important on lowering that time because obviously now I'm at the top. I'm the man to beat, and I know how that felt. It was the person wanting to win that goal, wanting to get ahead of the number one, and obviously I don't want that to happen to me. I want to be able to hold on to the table for as long as I can. So putting that time down and down is the most important thing for me.